Hi guys, it's Rebecca. I just wanted to sh come on here for a few minutes and um, have some crafty time and show y'all how I'm going to use this envelope. Um, to decorate it, it was really pretty. It's pink and um, I think that you will um, enjoy this. So let's get started. I actually already picked out a page out of this little book that I've been working on. It's a Valentine book that I started. And I am going to use it. I'm not necessarily going to use this back part. But I want to use it so we can see the tea dyed through it. And we're going to use it as a pocket. So I'm going to get rid of this. I've already opened it. And I'm going to get rid of this little flap right here. And we're going to cut this flap. And we are going to cut a little thing right down here. There we go. That's going to form our pocket on here. That way it'll have a pocket all the way around. Let's do it this way. There we go. So we're going to make it just like that. I also had a piece of this right here. I thought I would use just a piece of um, ribbon that I folded and sewed and I had it in my clusters. And so let's see how we're going to do this. But I think what I'm going to do to decorate a little bit of this is I think I'm going to take some music paper. Which I have right here. And it's already coffee dyed. And stuff. See that? So let's see. And let's estimate what we will need. I want that number because I like to put numbers in my stuff. So we're going to do it right here. And then we're going to cut it right here. My husband is washing the outside of the RV, so I do apologize for the noise. Um, and then we're going to tear it down this way. Oops. Down this way. There we go. So now... So we're going to tear it across here. And then we're going to go down. Let's see if this works out the way. I'm not a measurer, so by all means, so <laughs> let's see how this works. You may have to use it some other way, but let's see. I don't want to get rid of too much of... may not be able to get that number let's do it this way so there we go I'll do is I'll put it just like this and glue it. Where's my glue stick? Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump you guys. I hope you can see what I'm doing. And we're gonna cover that up just a bit like that. And then we're going to take this and I'm going to cover that up just like that. And I should have inked it, but I didn't. Most of the time I do. So we're going to 
go just like that. I'm not worried about getting it too perfect because I am still going to put this right here. Because I really think that's cute. <clears throat> so let me glue this like that. And then we are going to take this and I'm actually going to use this glue to because it's kind of like There we go. Whoops. So, let's see. Let's see. And we're going to put this on here. Like that. Just like that. And then we're going to put, what did I do with that piece? Oh, there it is right in front of my face. So then we're going to take this and actually glue it down. Actually, I may put it down here. Just like that. And I might put one of these on here. That's a little big. Alright, so we're just going to put this. And what I'm going to do to decorate that up is I'm going to take some of this um, lace that I have. We're going to run it down the middle of this. Let's see, do I like that? No, let's just leave it like that before we go messing it up. So we have that. We glued it down. So that makes our pocket on the top. Now we're just going to decorate this. Let's see. Let's kind of put that there, and then this here. What do you think? Or should it be down in the corner? No, I like that up top. So we're going to put this here. This here. I like that. So... If you think about it too much, you just won't do it. So, we'll just go ahead and put some glue right here for this. There we go. Then, let's take this and put it right here. I am running out of this glue. I may have to open my brand new one. I was trying to use every bit of this glue. <laughs> there we go. And you know what? I think would look cute on this side of maybe some cute buttons. Let's see if I have some cute pink buttons or red to tie it in with this page. Actually, I think that would be cute there. <clears throat> oh, look, this one's a rose. And I can actually just sew it. Actually, you know what? I'll make a charm out of that one. Let's find some cute buttons. Let's see, button, button, who's got the button, right? Oh, here's a pink one. And it's actually a flower. So we, we can put one here. We don't want it too bulky. Let's see. Oh, here's a big pink one. Mm. 
And there we go. Let's see. So we get this one. If I put a little cluster of buttons. Or actually, let's go down like that. I th I love that. So. Or. We can do it that way. No, I like the buttons. So let's glue these buttons on. I have a mess out of this glue bottle. I apologize. Y'all have to see my mess. So let's put that one. And there's one. There's two. And there's three. I really like how that turned out. Look at that. Alrighty, so that one gives us the pocket here. And then we have the little cluster and the I I do music paper with everything. So I just wanted to come on and show you how you can use a little junk mail to to brighten up your pages. So if you like this video, um, please hit look, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.